for the beginning is an indicator of the, how much emotion is being put into this game. Kenya in all white, Uganda in all black. An African counter about to serve, be served here at the Chateau and the Rugby crowd. The crowd is going wild. The weather is fantastic. The pitch is not as great. However, we're about to witness a historic and epic clash between two friendly neighbors. Yes, indeed. And these two did meet in 2016 where Uganda became victorious. And I think Bush Mwale made his debut in that tournament for the Kenya Sevens. And he's here again today. If we look at the lineups, Bilio starting on the wing, Nelson Oyo. I see Omondi with the ball in hand. Bush Mwale, Ernest Herman Humwa, and Augustine Lugonzo. Uganda keeping the same lineup, Bridian. Indeed, uh, Nicado Piner blows to kick off the game, and Wilson gets us underway. Clean take by Uganda. Adrian Casito has control of the ball. Desire era sizes up his man, takes him on, and sets up a platform in the middle of the field. Uganda still has the ball. Adrian Casito sends it wide. Timothy Kisiga with the ball in hand attacks the Kenyan defense, loses the ball in contact. However, the Kenyans are in offside, and Aaron Foray was. With a quick restart, Adrian Casito with the ball and he's going to attack the defense. Uganda has the ball at the base of the scrum. Desire chooses the wrong option, however, takes it into contact. Kenya is able to turn the ball over with a good turn by Bush Bale. Two on one for Kenya here. Billy Odiambo versus Philip Wokorach. Philip Wokorach sizes him up. Billy Odiambo still has the ball available. Kenya has a good attacking platform at the 22 of Uganda. Ball sending wide. Three on three, Bush Mwale, Nelson Oyo sizes up the Ugandan defense and is ushered to the edge of the field. Kenya's going side to side. Harman Homwa in the midfield decides to change direction. Takes two defenders with him. Uganda overcommits on that defense. We've got Augustin Lugonza with the ball on the wing. Kenya steadily building, taking side by side but making some yards whom was sends the ball wide Alvin Otieno unable to skip his feet Uganda able to turn it over excellent defensive turnover for Uganda yeah Only if there was ball. a better man to defend it is Adrian Casito bootless tackle very high textbook a big man on a small man as uh, we see a big hit from Alvin Otieno it is a dangerous tackle and it is uh yellow. oh the wrong card it's a yellow card <laughs> for a moment there it was hat in mouth stuff as philip walker checks on the kenya team by himself leaves augustine lugonzo for dead and now he's with bush Mwale. what will he do he puts it down what a step augustine lugonzo is still in another continent absolutely great step by philip walker taking advantage of that yellow card is going immediately after kenya is down by six men well played uganda quick tap excellent score first blood goes to uganda five points to zero with the conversion to come yes and you will watching that series sequence of play uganda's defense very disciplined kenya's attack disciplined as well i think the quality of rugby has gone up and you can see why these are the top two teams in africa indeed you've got a feel for alvin otieno um uh, Orlando Foray was actually slipped um, uh, in that tackle, so he was deemed to have hit it high. Unfortunately for him, he got the yellow card. Uganda now has to take advantage of this. The conversion was not good, so five points to zero is the score. Chance for them to get into their structures with this kickoff and see whether they can take advantage of the man that they have. Yes, Aaron Foray was goes deep. Omondi, if anything is good, is coming from Kenya. That man is a very bad option to have. As Haman Humwa beats one, breaks a tackle. And Timothy Kisiga guilty of not rolling away. Billy O, what can he do? He's able to keep the ball alive. Haman Humwa under pressure. And it's a knock on. Kenya all of a sudden slightly rattled. 
The crowd will have gotten to their heads. The yellow card. They do need to get their heads back into the game and not concede a second try. Indeed, and a man down uh, for Kenya. Kenya is not playing as a composed as one would expect. However, given the fact that the crowd is right behind the Ugandans, Uganda needs to take advantage of this sequence of play in order for them to consolidate their position. Kenya hasn't started well in any of the games they've played, and so far it's been the same formula for them. Let's see whether Uganda can take advantage of this opportunity. Yes, but they do finish strong is the last thing you have to say. And uh, it's only in the Madagascar game that they failed to recover from whatever it is that was happening. And it seems like Bushmwale, actually it's Herman Humwa, who seems like he's unable to continue and is replaced by Kesa Kevin. Not a good start for Kenya at all. Not at all, but unfortunately for um, the Kenyans, they've had a slow start. However, for Uganda, it's promising. They look comfortable with the ball in hand. If they stay within their, their, their system, it looks like they should be able to take advantage of this. Again, it's a mismatch in the backs. If you look at how def Kenya is defending, slightly illegal there by um, Augustin Lugonzo, but clever, adding the extra man into the backs. Uganda with a trick play. Philip Okovac sizing up his man. Well tackled there by Augustin Lugonzo, and uh, Kenya has that line out. Philip unable to beat his man and uh, the Ugandan deep, um, attacking support wasn't available for him to offload. So Kenya has a put into the lineup as Alvin Otieno rejoins the friend. Kenya gets the full complement of players. Yes, Augustin Lugonzo determined. I think he's seen Wokorach at, Wokorach at work earlier. He was determined to get one back and the line out works. Referee says it's skewed. Michael Wokorach getting involved, getting the crowd involved. Saying, guys, let's get going. Pressure bust spikes, and Kenya's pressure seems to be busting their pipes. They're looking very uncoordinated, and uh, depending on how they take this uh, onslaught by the Ugandans, we'll see whether they can withstand the pressure and maybe, as you said, come strong in the second half as they always have done across the whole of these past two days. Yes, it's still on the try. One game, try, one score try, one score game. Sorry. So Kenya really not out of it yet, as we see. Adrian Casito thinks he has scored, but the referee will consult. The fans think they have scored as well. Tense moments at the shadow of the rugby grounds as the referee makes a decision on whether the try was scored or not. He says it's a try. And the crowd goes absolutely bananas. If you're Kenyan, it's not a good time to be alive. <laughs> But we do know that Kenya does finish strong. They are an experienced side. They've not looked at themselves in this tournament. But they do have pedigree. And they big moments for big players. Adrian Casito is a big heart with a small body. Big engine. He did the same in Kenya when Uganda won the, the Africa Cup tournament. Uganda converts 12 points to, five, to zero. Um, and uh, consolidating their lead. Well played by Aaron uh, Foray Wolf. Again, kicking although it was a gamble it paid off for Uganda a chance to consolidate they kick deep where the Canyons are not lining up and the ball goes all the way to the, it ends up being an excellent kick yes very tactically good right in the Kenyan five-yard line Kenya has to defend the line out the last one didn't go straight they will be under pressure indeed we're coming to the end of the first half this will be around the last play let's see whether Kenya can get out of jail and maybe score at the break before the break or Uganda can take advantage of this position and make them pay Kevin Wekesa solid and he does well with the line out Kenya retain possession can they go 80 meters actually 90 meters Billy Odiambo well tackled Aaron Okoiro wins the turnover Big pass to Philip Wokorach. Referee says play on. But there is an advantage there. Tackling the man without the ball. Again, Aaron Okoiroch has done all the good work for Uganda. And Timothy Kisiga lost opportunity. The ball is lost forward. 
and it is half time. Missed opportunity there by Uganda. Timothy Kisika didn't keep the ball in hand. Uganda go into the break. 12 points to the goal. No points for Kenya. All the pressure has been on Kenya. Let's see how the coach, uh, Innocent Simeon, is uh, able to inform his charges and try and uh, regroup for this last seven minutes. Yes, we, we did say he has a poker face. He will need all his cards for this game. Two scores down. Not a long way by seven standards. It's a very rescuable game. Indeed, if you remember how they came back against Zimbabwe, Kenya is nowhere out of this game. They're very capable of doing some magic. Uganda now, what's important is how they instruct themselves to deal with this situation. Are they consolidating their position? Are they going for the jugular? Yes, and indeed they had an opportunity to make a third score there, which would really have broken the Kenyan hearts. And uh, they looked a bit panicky on that play. Uh, I think Aaron O'Foy was after their previous big pass was more tentative this time indeed the crowd is loving it here festive season has come upon us at the channel rugby grounds uganda with a 12 point lead at halftime against the perennial rivals kenya as we prepare ourselves for the second and final half of this epic semi-final remember a place at the world cup is what's at stake adrian no small stakes the next Indeed. seven minutes are critical. Indeed, this is for the marbles. This is for all the marbles. And uh, Uganda has uh, stayed in the hand longer than the Kenyans. Getting ready for some action. No changes uh, from the Uganda lineup. They're going for the jugular. Uganda kicking off this time. Aaron Afoyrot has played out of his skin. And he will need uh, to play a uh, the best seven minutes of his life for Uganda to win this one. They know that it's not yet out of the fire. Indeed, Uganda just needs to keep within their structures. If they continue doing what they've been doing all uh, weekend long, they should be able to get themselves through. Kenya really have to dig deep and come back at the Ugandans who are in very good form. Well received by the Kenyan team. Lugonzo sends it out wide to Billy Odiambo. Route one, big tackle there by Adrian Casito. Kenya retain the ball, Lugonzo releases Omondi, Otieno, Mwale, good tackle by Michael Wokorach. Kenya again guilty of moving side to side, they're not making any inroads. Good defense there by Uganda, knocks forward, advantage to Uganda. Mistakes by Kenya are going to cost them dearly. They've been moving side to side without any positive motion, not showing any intent. Uganda's defense easily just marched them all the way down to the five-yard line until the error was made, and then they had a turnover. Yes, I think uh, they've been told to play more as a team, and sometimes their passes are too telegraphed. They look like they are not sure of what they're doing. They look like they're lacking in confidence. And indeed, in that moment, the tackles from the Uganda defense really committed and forcing the turnover. As we see Adrian Casito finding Philip Wokorach against Billy O. Philip Wokorach. Does he score the try? Referee will consult. And that's another try for Uganda. Philip Wokorach goes over the, the chalk. And the referee confirms it and the crowd goes wild. Aaron O'Poy was getting into it with the Kenyans. They are really getting into their heads. They are not leaving anything to chance. If your enemy is down, kick him. I think it's the, the game. No love lost. Indeed, the point score is 17 to Uganda, 0 to Kenya with the conversion to go. Uganda have only considered one try this tournament. And if they do that, if they keep that record, they will win this game. Absolutely. Indeed. You can't win if you don't have the ball. And Kenya seems to only be going side to side when they have the ball. Timothy Kisiga off the pitch. Replaced by Nobato Kenyi, the Ferrari. Absolutely. Philip Walker is unable to successfully convert that uh, try. And Uganda goes into the deep kickoff again. Well received there by... Kenya scragged with his shirt. Kenya able. Yes, Kenya is resetting themselves, but the Uganda defense has been very organized. Referee says that was high. The player did fall into him, 
but still means the defender has to make sure the player is safe as Alvin Otieno is tackled and Adrian Casito is playing like a man possessed Aaron Opoiroth losing his feet and Kenya has to go 10 meters the referee losing patience he did look like he was reaching for his pocket but he changed his mind I think no. you don't kick a man when he's down. Yeah, that would, that, that would have been harsh. <coughs> Uganda rushing the restarts and trying to get the Kenyans off guard. However, very smart decision here. Call for the scrum, eat up a couple of seconds. And again, as we said, open up the field. Yes. You would like to have one-on-one -on -one, um, op uh, opportunities between your attack and the defense. And normally, a confident attacker will always know if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I should beat my man. Exactly. And Philip Wokorach against... Uh, the defender has changed this time. Billy O is gone. Timothy Mnasi is in. And he will be praying that the ball goes the other way. Double Black loses his feet but keeps the ball. Strong racking from Kenya. Counter rack. Philip Pokorach doing well to retain possession for King Uganda. To Ian Munyani. Munyani says, I can do this. I am big. <laughs> Referee says no advantage, tackling the man without the ball. Kenya seems to have given up. It is one way traffic. I tell you, if you are not watching this, you would not believe it. Adrian, pinch me. Am I dreaming? <laughs> putting a dagger into the hearts of the noisy neighbors the Kenyans as Uganda consolidates their lead 22 points to zero offense by uh, tackling the man without the ball Adrian Casito played out like a footballer with that as uh, Ian Munyani gives a shout out to the crowd I don't know uh, Afoy Roth again started the ball quickly and Kenya was not ready. They said it looks like it's curtains for the Kenyans. It has been coming for the past two days. We've seen this happening and finally they've met a team that is able to take advantage of the fact that they are in the driver's seat and Kenya is, has no answers Indeed. to whatever Uganda is doing. They have been unable to get out of their own half. You can't believe this team has been to the World Series and are seasoned campaigners. Referee saying Uganda was ahead of the kicker and Kevin Bala was about to start the job as well. A little Coming bit of over exuberance by Balagat Day as uh, Harmony, the young Kenyan uh, playmaker, comes on board. The entire bench has been uh, released by uh, Innocent Simoyu. Omondi with the ball in the midfield. Captain Nelson Oyo with an errant pass. It meets uh, his colleague again, kicking with uh, no direction. And Uganda is able to recover. Aimless kicks by Kenya is a demonstration of desperation and Aaron Oporewoth is trying to show off and the Kenyans may not like that and he might get uh, a little bit of uh, how's your family? Yeah, no, but Okenye, he can't step. He's robbed and he did not release the ball on the ground and Kenya go quickly. Harmony. Through Harmony Wamalwa. It's a try. Yes. They convert it quickly. Very smart play by Wamalwa. 